please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, Rebound Tire Wear. Usually our tire stuff goes in our contact patch series, but this is really a faster class. Dave drills down on how you can see whether your rebound, forks or shock, is set properly by looking at the wear on your tires, specifically in this video, treaded tires. Tires with a tread pattern, so all your street tires. Treaded tires, the sipes or cuts in the tire, give you some extra clues when looking at the wear as to whether your rebound is too fast or too slow. And rebound is extremely critical. Of all the suspension adjustments, it's probably the most critical. I will go out on a limb and say it's the most critical. Here's a preview. So to get a rebound, you have to compress something. And in that compression, you'll get stored energy. And then that stored energy has to release and come back. For most people, a trampoline makes perfect sense as an analogy. The higher you jump, the more the bed distorts, the more energy the that you store, and the higher you go. So rebound is a reaction to compression. So it's either fast, because there's a ton of stored energy released, or it's slow because there's very little stored energy released as a principle. But in some bikes, aside from choosing viscosity and forks, we also have an adjustment and that adjustment is basically a needle going into a hole to change flow rate. In other words, slow the flow. If you slow flow, you slow rebound. So there's a capability there to tune your rebound based on the oil viscosity and age. So that being said, let's take a look at the front tire off my Bandit, which of course is horrifically set up for testing purposes and photographic pleasure for the masses, which means it's miserable for me to ride it. This is by far the most common damage you will see to a tire after pressure. And rebound is something that we have to pay attention to, but because there's a line item that says fork service, no dot, oh, we don't need to do anything with it. That's so, so unfortunate. You have to pay attention to oil viscosity. What if it's 60 degrees out? What if it's 110 degrees out? The oil's gonna warm to completely different temperatures in the forks, so you'll need a different setting. If you don't do that going through the corners, the, t the forks will rise, which turns the wheel away, and then the forks will drop, which turns the wheel in. So you're constantly fighting under oversteer, understeer, oversteer, understeer. A tire doing this down the road accelerates its wear by anywhere between 30 to 40%. And if you have that much money to throw away because you can't be bothered on rebound, send it this way so we can make more videos and lots more videos because that's a really appropriate use of the money you're throwing down the toilet by not taking care of your rebound damping in the front forks. Next is rear rebound, too fast. Let's pull a picture up so we can take a look at that. Rebound too slow rarely happens. Things like straight off the showroom floor, or you just had your uh, front shock or rear fork serviced, then people can give them back to you with the settings kind of out of whack, and your rebound might be too slow. Those are about the only times. Why is this? Because over time and distance and usage, the oil just keeps getting thinner and thinner and thinner. So 99.99% of the time, you're chasing your rebound continually getting faster until the point that your adjusters don't work anymore or if your uh, forks or shock are non-adjustable the oil just gets too thin and you have to replace the oil. So because of that all-conquering aspect of the universe known as entropy your shock rebound never gets slower over time. Using rear rebound on the shock and adjusting it to start healing the tire. 
So what if you have adjustability, you can change your rebound setting, and you want to have a crack at healing the tire? We can do that. Another way of looking at a rear tire when rebound is really bad is shown by this picture. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.